Hey, it's Airsoft Mike. Welcome back to my channel. Now, in this box is not an Airsoft rifle. It's not an Airsoft pistol. It's not an Airsoft grenade launcher. It's not an Airsoft, well, it, pretty much it's not an Airsoft anything that you would normally use in gameplay. However, I would still need BBs to use it fully. Look at that bad boy. Would you Adam and Eve it? It arrived broken. So I had to send it back and get a replacement, but this time I decided to go for the NATO green. So here we are <laughs> with a replacement. Okay, so you get an instruction manual, other bits and pieces, and cool. These stickers here to do that finishing touch on the tank. Nice, you get a little bottle of smoke oil, because this bad boy, when you turn it on, it has smoke coming out of it. Cool. You also get a box of accessories, and this is what qualifies it to have a little showing on my Airsoft channel. Six millimeter BBs because this bad boy fires BBs. And I'm not just talking about a little shot and it just lands almost in front of the tank. Well, let me not say anymore, because guess what? I'm also gonna chrono this bad boy. <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay, you get a battery pack, more bits and bobs to give it that finer detail. UK charger, more bits and bobs. And then you have your 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. And the tank itself. Oh my gosh, would you look at this bad boy. Ho oh, ho ho, would you look at that bad boy. Now, unlike the first version that I ordered, the one in the desert scheme of things, um, I've decided not to go for the pro version because I know it's on the pro version that I got before, which as you know now was broken, the tracks were this bright silver metal color and it had metal parts all over the place and metal this and metal that. And personally, I feel that's what contributed to certain parts breaking because it was metal against plastic. I could be wrong, but hey ho, I much prefer this to me. This looks a bit more authentic. So what I'm going to do, I'm so excited. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna get this tank ready, but I'm not gonna show you me getting this ready, putting all the decals on, putting all the bits and pieces, putting the smoke oil in. I'll cut that all out and just show you it working straight away. But if you would like to see the full unboxing experience, how I put it all together, you need to go over to my Mike's Tech and Toys channel where you'll get the full unboxing of this British Challenger 2 116 scale, 2.4 gigahertz radio control main battle tank. There'll be a link in the video description There'll be an annotation near the end. So yeah, head over to Mike's Tech and Toys for the full tutorial and setup of this tank. But right now, I'm gonna click my fingers and... And now all I have to do is hit that start button to start the tank up. You will hear some sort of tank noise, engine noise, and you will see smoke coming out of it as well. It is so realistic, it is awesome. Okay, so press the button. And look, look at the smoke, which is generated by the oil that I put in there earlier. Right, let's turn that turret around. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Right, now let's load it up with BBs. I can't believe I'm saying that and I haven't got an airsoft gun in my hand. <laughs> it's an airsoft tank. But anyway, on the previous versions of this, you would need to operate an on and off switch under here for it to function as an airsoft tank, as it were. Not with this upgraded version, don't need to do that. So that's just for show now. Although this does open, you don't need to do anything in there. However, next door, that's where you load the BBs. 
Well, that's all I'm gonna put in there for now. It can take up to about 100 BBs. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to test and make sure that this tank actually does fire BBs. Let's sort of, um, take it to the range. <laughs> <laughs> it even jolts back like recoil. Excellent. Yes, you're not seeing things, you're not imagining this. I'm literally going to chrono this tank. <laughs> 57. 57. Okay, <laughs> let's go again. Fifty-seven point two. Fifty-five point four. We'll do one more because you can see how epic <laughs> the shock, the recoil is when it, the tank goes back. Um, here we go. And 55.9. Right, so it's an awesome looking tank. It's got awesome sounds, awesome smoke, and the way it fires BBs is epic. The way it jolts back. But what about obstacles? It's not really a tank if it can't go over obstacles. Imagine this was rough terrain. Keep an eye on the track and keep an eye how each of these wheels work independently along with the track to get over any obstacle in its way. Well, a lot of obstacles. How awesome was that? Okay, so I wanna do that again and show it to you even closer. Now keep an eye on the tank tread right here or Caterpillar track and watch how Everything just works independently and the suspension is awesome. Watch. Awesome. Oh, and look, earlier on, I didn't even show you, it also has rear lights. Absolutely love this thing. Oh, and just one point. If you're worried about the safety aspect of, say, someone younger getting hold of this, playing with it, and then accidentally firing a BB, don't worry. It's not that easy to do. It has a safety mechanism in it where this button here, right here on the top, you have to hold that button down whilst pushing the left lever up and holding it up while still holding this button down. And then it will psych itself up and then take a shot. So there's no real accidental firing with this tank. Then of course you could always just take all the BBs out and make sure there's no BBs in there. Well, there you go. That was something a little different on my channel today. Hope you enjoyed it. But remember, if you want the full unboxing 
and tutorial and how I got this thing together, how I put all the different bits and pieces on there and set it up. If you really want to see that, head over to Mike's Tech and Toys for the full video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Oh, and hit the video description below if you'd like to know prices and the different places where you can buy this bad boy.